Well, my friends, I'm so far behind, I think I'm in front. If you want to know what I mean by that, I'll tell you right after this. friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. Today is Tuesday, September 6th, and we will be playing this evening at Dickie's Barbecue in Rolla. This evening around 6 o'clock we start and we go to about 8.30. So if you're in the area or want to come through to listen to some good jamming, stop in there. We would love to have you, and it's also some darn good food, I think. The first order of business this morning is an apology. I feel like a person is only as good as their word and a man has to stand up and own it when he's wrong. And I was wrong yesterday and it wasn't be intentional. Um, I didn't say it to be vindictive, but I said the wrong thing. I knew what in my mind I meant, but I said the wrong word. Yesterday in that uh, rant, I said the mechanics don't care how bad this stuff is, they're on the clock. Well, what I really meant was, in my mind, what I meant was the dealership mechanics, and then I thought about it even more, and I thought, it's not really the dealership mechanics, it's the dealership. The dealership doesn't care how long it takes to change something out on, an, on a car. They're on the clock, and they're gonna bill you for it. And in fact, they've got a list that says, if you gotta drain the coolant in a Dodge truck, that list says it's a 1.5 hour job or whatever, and they're gonna bill you for it. And so it's the dealership, and I just want to apologize to all the mechanics out there, because the mechanics hate this stuff just as bad as I do. And even some of the dealership mechanics hate it just as bad as I do. Now there's some dealership mechanics that I would say are, they don't care. But uh, overall, I would say if you're a good mechanic, you're just, you hate this stuff just as bad as I do. So I just wanted to own that and tell you I am sorry. I did not mean it the way it came out. I really in my mind was thinking about the dealership and I really was at that moment thinking about the dealership mechanics. But then after thinking about it more, it's just the dealership. The dealership just doesn't care. They, they're, in, they're in bed with the auto manufacturers. That's all an antitrust thing. They're all in cahoots, they're all price fixing. And that's why we should be able to take them to court. It's just not right. Okay, I'm off that and I hope you'll accept my apology. On the other side of the coin, the real sad news is that last night I dug the hole. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to say this without offending and making a lot of people mad. I'm not a real pet person, and I, I think I came by that honestly, and, and if you'll listen to me and bear it out, you'll understand. Uh, maybe even have a little bit of empathy, because it wasn't an easy childhood. <laughs> My dad raised a lot of beagles and sold them for income for the family, so I can't fault him there. And my dad also raised and showed horses and uh, made money there. But he was kind of rough on me about the animals. Uh, you know, he, you know, when I was just real little, too little to carry a five gallon bucket full of water, he was whipping me every step of the way out to the, you know, if I forgot to water his dogs or something, he, he, I mean, seriously, with a switch, he was whipping me all the way out to the dog pen. And it was pretty far out to the dog pen. And the same way with cleaning stalls and cleaning dog pens and all the stuff that came with all that work. I mean, there was a ton of work around that. And he pretty much insisted that I do it all. And, you know, and I think when you figure out if you grew up that way, I don't know. You, It's not that I don't dislike them. I don't hate them. It's just that I didn't get real close to the pets like a lot of people do. And I just hope you'll understand that. But then when I tell you I had to dig the hole for the pony last night, you'll have to understand that that wasn't one of my favorite duties, I can tell you that. Yeah, so digging that hole for that pony, that definitely wasn't one of my favorite jobs to do, and the vet will be here this morning. But I, you know, in retrospect, I guess it's time, because that poor pony has suffered for a long time. Uh, even I, a year ago, said that it's probably time to put her down. But now that it is time, it's kind of tough to do. So it's one of those things that's just got to be done. In terms of being so far behind, I think I'm in front. That is the truth. That guitar is still hanging there. I haven't had a been haven't been able to touch it for about four or five days, maybe even a week, I guess. 
I've got emails stacked up. Emery's gone on top of that. <laughs> Videos need to get out. Uh, I've got orders from the website that need to get out. Other instruments sitting on the shelf waiting for me. So, yeah, it's just not easy being me. I should have wore that shirt this morning. But anyway, I'm going to keep this short. I just wanted to let you know that uh, the main thing was I wanted to apologize. And I just kind of wanted to let everybody know the status. So if you're waiting on an order or anything like that, it's probably going to be a little bit delayed over the norm because Emory's out of office for a week and I've got to do it all. So I'm trying to keep up. Uh, just bear with me the best you can. And uh, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>